Meth on our streets. Guam Police Chief Stephen Ignacio questioned about the lingering drug problem still out of control. Sometimes, you, you know, we, we don't think that much is going on at the, the local level. But I'll tell you, uh, a, a simple traffic stop has led to some of the bigger drug cases that we've seen. And I think, you know, we continue to work, you know, before you get to the big fish, you got to start with the smaller ones at the bottom. And you work your way up throughout the organization. Yeah. So, we, we, you know, we continue to fight uh, the meth problem. Uh, we continue to make arrests every day. And, you know, uh, just yesterday, just through a traffic stop, we seized 11 and a half grams of ice. The top brass making his case before the Guam legislature to approve a $50.1 million budget for fiscal year 2024, more than half for salary and benefits, the remainder for supplies and equipment his officers need to protect and serve. We are confident that this will sustain our current progress of improving our level of police service. He also noted $1.4 million in overtime, the money he says would fund 27 new recruit positions. GPD currently has an additional 45 spots still left vacant. It is noteworthy to mention that inasmuch as GPD has continuously focused on police officer training or PLT recruitments, police officers are still retiring or leaving the department quicker than we recruit, educate, provide OJT, and placing of PLTs into the precinct. GPD has since brought back 11 retirees to help out, but it's not enough considering the department struggles with only 18% of potential recruits actually passing the test to join the force. This test is at a 10th grade level. Let's not lower the standards because at the same time, you don't want to lower the standards to where you're, you're hiring really incompetent people who can't even pass a high school test. And another issue? We throw a lot of money into the training, six to eight months of, of classroom instruction paid for by the Workforce Development Fund. And as soon as they're done, you know, they're a year or two out the door. Other plans still include getting police equipped with body-worn cameras and getting the evidence control building and DNA lab finally completed. Its efforts, the chief's oversight chair, Senator Chris Barnett, questioned as the drug problem persists on the island. It seems to me like we have, we have arrested almost all the little fish multiple times because you keep seeing these little fish like these baby Joe Timaglows and that you guys know all these guys who were just arresting over and over and over and I guess my question is, what are we uh, doing? Ignacio responding, despite the manpower challenges, GPD is making a dent with their federal counterparts. They told me that, you know, Chief, these cases actually came from the work of your officer and our task force, you know, working together. So, you know, it starts from the, the, the little fish, you know, to the even bigger fish. And so, you know, sometimes you don't see that connection or that correlation between the two. But there is. Still, the disconnect is finding a way to rid the island of meth.